Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome to another episode of Spitting Venom, aka the Venom Vlog, and uh, I still am really, really sick. Uh, I feel like I sound a little bit better now, although I can barely kind of hear myself. Um, I have like a ear infection going on and sinuses, major drainage, and uh, yeah, I think this week with the whole like you know possible skin cancer thing, I like I just been freaking out for the past two weeks, and I think I just worried myself into actually getting sick. Plus, I work at Lego, and there's kids all the time, so I could have just got something from there, and just you know my defenses were low or whatever. Uh, so the past couple days have been pretty brutal. Uh, I feel bad for my roommate who has to hear me hacking up all the time, uh, and then I've been taking random naps and just passing out, and it's just been exhausting. Uh, but uh, I st I'm feeling a little bit better now, so I figured, you know what? Let's pop out a quick video because I saw some information about the Venom movie and dealing with IMAX. Uh, so IMAX and the CEO of IMAX, he kind of put out this uh, article recently, or it was up on MSN. I think it came out maybe even a month ago. Uh, so I'll put a link to that and Flickering Myth, who is the one who covered it, who just posted their thing today. Uh, so it looks like they were like rummaging through stuff out there and uh, and came across a mention of Venom and uh, it might have been something that came out before and I just missed it or didn't feel like making a video on it uh, because I feel like I heard, I did hear this before and maybe I got the notification uh, for it and then you know now I'm like oh yeah I forgot to make that video so all, all it is it's nothing major this will be a quick video it just looks like that uh, some of the scenes in the movie of Venom are um, were used with IMAX cameras and so they're gonna get the IMAX ratio kind of thing and uh, and so you know I kind of like that to a degree because I'm sure there's some scenes in a movie hopefully the scenes with Venom where you get to see him on screen for the bit first time and he's like you know roaring or yelling or punching through a wall or you know throwing an MRI machine out the out the room or something uh, anything like that you know could look really cool give that big scope to it uh, give that clarity clarity to it which would be nice uh, but uh, I also hate sometimes when uh, most movies, they only can shoot some scenes in IMAX because IMAX is so freaking expensive. Um, and it changes the ratio. So if you're watching it in an IMAX theater, the the, the ratio will change. Uh, Michael Bay is probably the most egregious of this with the Transformer movies. He'll shoot like 30% of the movie in IMAX and sometimes the same scene. So you'll be watching a movie and it's like, boom, 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 and like in the same scene and you're like, oh, okay, stop, just stop, please. This is an assault on my eyes right now. Like, please stop doing it. So I'm thinking... This won't be that case. It will just be like, all right, this whole scene is in IMAX. We use the camera because obviously this doesn't have the budget of a Transformers movie uh, and it doesn't have a bad director like Michael Bay. Uh, it's just like, all right, the, you know, the, the uh, uh, Ruben Fleischer, sorry, I was just talking about the crow earlier. So uh, Ruben Fleischer is like, uh, you know, looking at this and is like, all right, uh, you know, I, I just want to shoot this sequence. This is going to be cool. It'll be great. We'll have a panning shot of something. I'm just, you know, speculating here, but I, I could see him just shooting a whole scene with the camera because if they're spending money to use that camera, he probably wants the whole scene captured with that camera and then move on to the next scene with a different camera and then, you know, go back to IMAX when they need it again for another sequence later. So I'm sure it'll be just like the, the action scenes maybe, maybe even the motorcycle chase scene or, you know, I'm hoping it's just the stuff with Venom. So every time he's on screen, he's just like super clear, super big, super loud, you know, uh, that would work for me. And, you know, considering I know I know we talked about the rumor that he's not going to be in the movie a lot uh, and you know Tom Hardy kind of debunked that I'm sure most of the movie is still not going to be Venom it's still probably going to be a lot of Eddie Brock uh, but we're I'm sure we're going to get more than five or ten minutes of Venom uh, and according to Tom Hardy that's the case so you know if there's like maybe 30 minutes of Venom or something like that or close to that in the movie then if all those scenes are shot with that camera in IMAX I think that'll look really really cool and will add scope to those scenes in particular and I think that'll be the, probably the wisest use of those because you don't want to just sit there and use an IMAX uh, camera for a dialogue sequence you know like you don't want to use it there I mean if you have the money to sure but uh, if you don't you know save it for those big moments and I think that's what they're gonna do so you guys let me know what you think of this down below I'll put a link to uh, the MSN article or discussion with the CEO of IMAX um, who mentioned, uh, you know, that this was going to be Venom related. I have the quote like right here of what he said. Uh, so yeah, check that out. And then uh, down below, I'll also put a link to Flickering Myth, who was the one who linked me to MSN's article uh, earlier. So again, as always, thanks for watching my show. Like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I'm going to go throw up now. <laughs> Peace.